Stop scooping and crush your golf irons. Are you sick of scooping the golf ball? Want to know how to really nail and crush your golf irons and play better golf? This next video is for you. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. So as I said in the intro, I'm gonna be talking about how to stop scooping your irons so you can crush them and play better golf. So I'm gonna be talking about the reason why you're scooping. I'm gonna give you a really simple drill you can practice at home so you can really start flushing those irons. And it's all about understanding the club face at impact. And this simple drill I'm gonna show you is a great way to enhance your ability to get that forward shaft fleeing. So you can de-loft your irons instead of getting into this position. I'm gonna get you into this position in just a moment. Okay, let's talk about how you can stop scooping and crush those golf irons. So there's um, a number of reasons why you might be scooping and with hitting your golf irons and depending on your ability, this will probably tie in what you think you might be doing. And, and what I mean by scooping is anyone that sort of is very wristy at impact, like this with your irons, it's usually in an effort to get height with the golf ball and lift the golf ball into the air. And that's typically what most golfers do. They might leave a bit of weight on your back foot. You might be doing this. It's usually an effort to get height with the golf iron. And the thing to understand, I've touched on this on many other videos. I'll pop a, a couple of links up above that go into detail about really getting that forward shaft lean and that is that the irons are designed to be hit with that handle forward on this angle like that. That's the way they're designed to be hit. They're designed to be hit in this sort of position here for them to work their most efficiently. They're not designed to be hit like this with this face angle pointing up. And when you do that, you get into a number of issues with your golf swing and you'll struggle for consistency. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you what it does when you scoop. I'm just using a a little face, magnetic face, lie angle detector here. And what this is gonna show you, I'll show you this from down towards the camera. This is what happens typically, if I've got my face pointing towards the target down towards the camera, if you're someone that flips, you can see the effect this has on the club face. Really hooks it inside. And by the same token, if you get, you understand about forward shaft lean, you might just get way too much forward shaft lean. And you can see that actually leaves the face wide open. So you need the right amount of forward shaft lean to get that face pointing right down towards our target. And that's a real key to stop you from scooping so you can really crush those golf irons. So, and another reason you might be scooping, you might be early extending, which I've spoken about at length. You might be lifting up. Normally golfers that lift up and they're down swing, they have to use their hands and arms a lot more and they get this flippy motion here and you try to compensate for that problem there. So I'm going to show you a really simple drill. You can practice this at home and then work your way up to actually hitting golf balls. It's really going to help you stop scooping so you can really crush those golf irons. Okay, here's a really simple drill to stop your scoop in the golf swing. So I'm going to leave this little um, magnetic lie angle on just for demonstration purposes, but I will take it off in just a moment. So what we're going to do, I'll show you this from two different, a few different angles at least anyway. At the setup, you're going to grab a club and do this at home. This works really great. What I want you to do is turn the, the face down. Now you can see here what it does to the face angle. It makes it point way left. What we're aiming to do here, to train yourself to get forward shaft lean so you can really crush these irons. What I want you to feel like you do on your downswing, I want you to get that face, and for the purpose of this, this alignment tool here, pointing straight down our target line. So if I start off with it really turned in, the only way I can get my face pointing at my target is to get forward shaft lean. It's the only way I can do it. If I flip, it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna really turn in behind me. The only way I can get it when I set up with a closed face is to get forward shaft lean. Have a look at it from this angle. Turn right in. The only way I can make this work is to get forward shaft lean. 
from down towards the camera. Set up with that face really turned in. Forward shaft lean down towards the camera. If I don't, if I don't do it, look what happens. Just turns way, way left on me. You can practice this at home. We'll get rid of this. Practice this at home without hitting any balls and just train yourself to get the forward shaft lean so that you square out the club face because you've got no choice. If you don't get forward shaft lean, that club face will just keep pointing left. Once you practice this at home, for at least five minutes a day, do at least 20 reps, go to a driving range and just hit really small shots. Set up to a ball, close that club face, and just hit really short shots and really, really accentuate that forward shaft lane. You know you have to do it because if you don't do it, if you just do this little flip, that ball is just gonna go way left. But you train yourself, turn that face in, to get in that forward shaft lane position, we got a club face square, and you're gonna hit the golf ball much, much straighter. Give that drill a try, I know that will help you out. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to stop scooping and crush your golf irons. Maybe you've tried a very similar one that's worked really well for you. Maybe you're still struggling and have another question, pop it down below, I will reply to every single comment. There you have it, now you know how to stop scooping and crush your golf irons. Now a big thanks to the guys from Me and My Golf, I'll put a link in the description to their channel for this drill that they provided me, it's fantastic, they've got a great channel, make sure you check them out. Now very important, above this video I'll have a couple of additional links that talk about golf irons and some additional drills that will really tie in with this and help you hit much more solid iron shots. Below this video I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video make sure you click on that link get a hold of that there'll be another link to some additional golf instruction check that out that will help out your golf game have any questions or comments about this video any other videos pop them down below i will reply to every single one of you thanks so much for watching see you next time